Hello, you wonderful people. In this Astro Crash Course, we're going to talk about getting started with Astro and building something cool. As this course progresses, we're going to cover more things in greater details, but for today, we're gonna to talk about getting started and building a very simple website. We're gonna walk through how to set the project up and we're going to create this basic website that for the moment is going to have our data be hard-coded. We're gonna have this landing page area with little features section here. Eventually we'll add more. And we are also going to have this top navigation and we're going to have this simple about page. So the goal for this tutorial is to set up our first Astro project install Tailwind and build out these pages. If you've never used Astro, Astro is awesome. It is a perfect framework for content-driven websites. What's really cool is that it allows you to use any other frameworks that you like. For instance, you can import React, Vue, Preact components, and so on. Although in this tutorial, we're going to really focus on HTML, CSS, and just using vanilla JavaScript because that's where Astro shines with the Astro components. So without any ado, let's jump right into it. And we're gonna literally start with this NPM create Astro at latest command. So go ahead and copy it and I'll see you in the terminal. All right, in our terminal, we're gonna go ahead and paste the npm create astro at latest command and click enter. Would you like to proceed? Of course we do. Let's let the magic happen. All right, now we have to add the name. I'm gonna call this project astro client and I'm gonna click enter. Include sample files, we're going to say no. We're gonna go with empty, even though it's nice to have sample files, but I'm gonna talk about all the things that you need, so we'll just go from there. Click enter. Do you plan to write TypeScript? Of course we do. Even no matter how you feel about TypeScript, you're gonna do it strict, it's recommended, awesome. Install dependencies, yes. Initialize new get repository, you could say yes, but I'll go and uh, do that later. So let the Astro builder do its thing, installing all the dependencies, and we'll be ready to go in just a few moments. Once everything's all set, we got this nice message. Good luck out there, astronaut. So let's go ahead and CD into our Astro project and open it in VS Code. Now that we have our project open, we are going to jump into the source director here. And here we could see our pages with our index Astro page. And this is exactly what's gonna render when we start our project. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to type yarn dev to start our project and navigating to our local host port 4322, here we could see we just have Astro. So literally it's a blank project that we could get started with. So let's go back to our project and take a quick look here what's going on. So here you might be wondering where these little dashes mean. And this in Astro is called Astro Front Matter. And here, for instance, you could define your JavaScript. I'm gonna say date equals new date and let's get um, we get full year and that's going to be our date. And what's awesome, we're able to use this inside our project here. So we'll say copyright equals date. And by the way, this gets called during build time and afterwards it's going to get stripped out. So if you wanted to add a on click event in or use JavaScript on your website, you could actually add it here via script tags. And let's say we just gonna create a basic button here, ID equals button with a message called click me. And here we are just going to target our button via document get element by ID. We're going to add an event listener. And here we are just going to say, instead of console log, let's say alert. And, and there we go. And finally, this is complaining that button might be possibly null. So we're just going to add a question mark just to say it could possibly be null or undefined. So now that this is all set, if we go back to our application, we should see our date, which is coming from our front matter. But we should also be able to click our button with the JavaScript that we included in the script tags. And by the way, you could actually import files into here. Don't feel like you have to write all of your vanilla JavaScript code here. So back in our application, notice we see our copyright date. And if I hit click me, notice we have our local host. And finally, the last thing that I wanna talk about is what if I want to add some CSS? And in just a moment, we will add Tailwind, but you could also do this very easily, put it between the style tags and let's do a background color here and let's style our button to be funky. 
and we're just gonna say background color and we're going to make it blue violet and text color is going to be white add some padding and cursor and now when we go back into our application boom we have our style button so what did we learn today we learned that you could write any javascript in the front matter which could be responsible for fetching data or doing certain functions which all are going to get stripped out when you build your project if you want to have javascript in your project you could write vanilla javascript and put it between the script tags if you do put this code in a different file you could literally import your file inside the script tags here to use and also if you want to do styling you could put it between the style tags and what's awesome about this this is going to be scoped to this particular file we'll take a look how to do global styling in just a moment but i just want to give you this basic intro astro also has cool plugin ecosystem and that's exactly how we're going to install tailwind to this project so let's see how to do that next so remember, whenever you're building something cool, you're always referencing the documentation. Documentation is your friend. So here I am in Astro Docs, and we are going to take a look how to install Tailwind. Everybody knows Tailwind is awesome, so we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna go to the installation, and all we wanna do is copy this command called npx astro add tailwind by clicking this button. And of course, there's a manual process, but we're just gonna keep it easy and do it this the simple way. So I'm gonna stop my server, clear the screen, and I'm gonna paste the add Astro Tailwind command, and boom, it's gonna go ahead and do it. Let's follow the instructions by saying yes. And yes, we do want to continue, and this is going to be added inside our Astro slash config file, which is basically putting in our Tailwind integration. So we're going to click yes, and everything should be done. So if I run yarn dev in our VS code, instead of using vanilla CSS, I'm gonna delete this and we could add our classes here. So I'm gonna say class, and we're going to start with background violet, 500, text white, and we'll do padding Y2 and padding X4. And now for the body, let's add a class container and MX auto, and let's say width, it's gonna be three quarters of the screen. So now when we navigate to our website, you could see that we're now using our Tailwind styles. That is pretty awesome. And before we finish up, you could actually write your Tailwind styles between the style tags using the apply. So I'm gonna remove it, and let's say I'll give it a button class here, we could still stick this into styles here and what we could do is use apply to apply our tailwind styles so now if we take a look everything still works so it's up to you if you'd like to write your tailwind inline or if you'd like to put it between the style tags it's really up to you great job everyone in the next video we're going to take a look how to add pages or routes in astro so i'll see you in the next video